One time secular singer now gospel artist Junior Tucker is the subject in this week's Rant Nephew Trailblazers feature. Check it out. If you know that you haven't been to the school and you're not familiar with the rules, don't test. He was one of Jamaica's first child prodigies. Little Junior Tucker transitioned from child star to teen star to adult star. Born in Trenchtown, Kingston in 1965, Junior attended Kingston College. He recorded his first song, Take a Little Time to Know Me, in 1970 at the age of six. The song was produced by Ricky Tucker and Earl Chinya Smith and released on the Mango label. Junior's first hit as a child star came with the song Happy, a cover of the Michael Jackson original. The song hit number one in Jamaica in 1973, but a few months later his cover of One of the Poorest People spent a record 23 weeks at number one in Jamaica. Other hits flowed such as It's a Small World and his 1980 cover of Some Guys Have All the Luck. Throughout his secular music career, Junior Tucker signed with Island Records, then Geffen Records, which at the time was a subsidiary of Warner Brothers and later Virgin Records. He formed an association with producer, musician, and singer Ray Parker Jr., who worked on his album for Geffen. Junior also recorded the original version of Mr. Telephone Man, which later became a hit in the 1980s for boy group New Edition. After signing with Virgin Records in the late 1980s, Junior scored a hit with Don't Test. He later transitioned into the dance hall and scored hits with Love of a Lifetime, Move Along, Don't Touch My Baby, True Confessions, and Love Somebody, among others. In 1997, Junior became a born-again Christian and then a minister of religion. Now residing back in Jamaica for the past three years, Junior is married and has three children. He is the pastor of the Family Word and Worship Church at 8 Hailing Road in New Kingston. In 2018, Junior will celebrate 21 years of becoming a born-again Christian with the release of the album JT21, which will comprise songs from his gospel albums and new material. This has been our Ray and Nephew Trailblazers feature, where we look back at the careers of some of your favorite musical stars from the past and update you about what they've been up to lately. Join us next time for another feature.